Did you know that 38% of people say they buy more than intended because they have a coupon? Well, if you want to sell more and attract new customers on your WooCommerce store, start offering coupons. And don't you worry if you don't know how, because in this video, I'll show you how to easily create three types of discounts in your WooCommerce store, which are percentage-based discounts, fixed card discounts, and product-specific discounts. So let's get started. Okay, so just start off by going to your WordPress WordPress dashboard. I'm going to do that as well with you. Okay, so go to your WordPress dashboard, which you can easily and quickly access through Hostinger's H panel by selecting websites and then WordPress admin. I mean, if you have a Hostinger plan, that is. And just by the way, guys, I mean, if you're watching this video, I just automatically assume you already have a WooCommerce store. But if by any chance you don't, then there's a complete step by step tutorial on how to create one right over here. All right, anyway, now back to it. Once you step into your WordPress dashboard, go to marketing on the left sidebar and then to coupons. This is the page where you can create and manage your discounts. So let's start by clicking create your first coupon. Okay, now here at the top, we can start by creating a coupon code, the one that you must use to get the actual discount. You can name it basically whatever you want, maybe connect it to the name of your store product or just festive season maybe, it's really up to you. Or you can just simply generate a random code by clicking right here. By the way, you can use both capital letters and numbers. It will still work for you. Okay, now let's move on to the settings to determine what this code will do to the price once it's applied. First off, you can choose between these three discount types, which I've already mentioned in the beginning of the video. Let's start off with a percentage discount. So if I type, for example, 15 in the amount section, the buyers will get 15% off with this code. Let's just quickly see if it actually works. So just click on publish, copy the code, and let's go to your store. I already have some nice plans in my shopping bag over here. So now let's just paste the code over here and click on apply coupon. As you can see, the price has been reduced by exactly 15%. Okay, now let's come back to the dashboard. Over here, you may also select whether you want this coupon to grant free shipping and you can also set an expiration date. The expiration date actually helps to set a sense of emergency and encourages people to actually use your coupon. I mean, if the coupon was valid forever, then you might as well, I mean, just lower the price altogether. Anyway, now let's move on to the usage restrictions. Usage restriction settings let you control how and to what you want to apply this 50% discount. For starters, you can set the minimum spending amount. If you don't want to be too generous to your customers, you can set the minimum spending, for example, to $50. Uh, this way, customers can get 15% off only if they buy $50 worth of products or more. This way, you can encourage buyers to drop more things into their shopping cart to get that discount. We can test it out right now. So let's just click on update and go to my store. Now, if I remove some products and leave only the ones that cost less than $50, the coupon just simply won't work. As you can see, this banner pops up saying that the minimum spend for this coupon is $50. Okay, moving on, you can also check the individual use only button to ensure that this coupon cannot be used together with any other coupons because customers may apply a bunch of coupons together if you have more than one link to your store. And we, I mean, definitely don't want that. All right, now next to the individual use only button is the exclude sales items button. If you check this one, your customers won't be able to get this discount if they have at least one product on sale in their shopping cart. So if I return to my store and add a product on sale to the cart, I won't be able to apply this coupon. All right, now let's come back to the other settings over here. You may also set this coupon to work only with specific products. For instance, I might really, really want to push my sales on my gardening tools because, I mean, let's say no one is buying them. So I just type in these product names and select them. You can even change the coupon code to tools 15 or something like that, that relates to these specific coupon products. Now just click update. Now, once I try to apply this coupon to one of the plants, a banner pops up saying that the coupon does not apply to this product because it's not the one I selected. But when I add scissors to my shopping cart, 
it works. Now guys, on the other hand, if you have only a few products to which you don't want to apply the discount to, you can exclude them by selecting them right here. Then this code will work on anything else except these products. The same principle applies to product categories. You can select a specific category to which the code can be applied or just exclude one. There's also an option to exclude some email accounts. For example, I mean, let's say just for some reason you don't want to allow accounts with the emails that end with at yahoo.com to use this coupon. I mean, you can do that. It's really up to you for whatever reason. But now let's go to usage limits. You've probably seen ads like this at least once in your life. Let's say only the first 100 people can use this code or whatever. So that's what this section is all about. You can set a usage limit per coupon, let's say 100, and that will mean that only the first 100 people who use this coupon will actually be able to get the discount. Okay, you may also set this coupon to work for only a particular number of products. For instance, you can set it to 10, which means that if the person has 12 products in the card, the coupon won't be applicable. And finally, we have the usage limit per user button. Now it lets you choose how many times an individual user can use this coupon, maybe just once or twice or three times or whatever. Well, you can write the number right here, whichever one you choose. Okay, and guys, just don't forget to click the update button once you're done with the settings. We don't want anything going missing here. And oh, and more importantly, don't forget to click the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on more helpful videos just like this one. Okay, anyway, now that you know how to set up the percentage coupon, let's quickly go through the other two types of discounts. So I'm going to do this with you once again. To create a fixed amount discount, pick fixed cart discount in the general settings section. The fixed amount discount allows your customer to get a certain amount off of their shopping cart, let's say $10. So just type this number into the coupon amount bar. We can even change the code to $10 off, let's say, to match the discount, and then let's just hit update. Now, with this code, your customers will be able to get a full $10 off no matter how much they're buying. And as you can see, once I apply the code, the price drops by exactly $10. But what if the person applied this code to an item that costs, let's say $10.99? I mean, that wouldn't be good because basically I would be selling it for almost free. So to avoid that, I strongly suggest adding a minimum spent amount, for instance, $50, just like we did with the percentage discount. This will allow customers to apply this code only if they purchase items worth $50 or more. All of the other usage restrictions and limit settings work exactly the same as with the percentage based ones. So we can just move on to the last type of coupon code, which is the product specific discount. So in the general settings, select fixed product discount and add the amount, for example, $10. Then go to the user restriction and select the product to which you want to actually apply this discount too. Now guys, if we go back to the online shop and apply this coupon, it will not work as it works only with one specific item. But if I add that specific item to the cart and apply the coupon once again, it will actually work this time and give me a $10 discount. And now just to be clear, you can apply the discount to one specific product with a fixed amount discount as well. Just select the product or a few and it will work the same way. Now guys, of course, you can add more than one coupon to your store. Simply click on coupon on the left, hit the add coupon button at the top and create a new one in the exact same way. You can also add descriptions to your coupons, like let's say get 15% off when buying for more than $60. Now this is optional, but it can help you understand what the coupon is all about without actually going through the settings. This is especially useful if you have more than a few coupons handy. Once published, all of your coupons will be right here and you can delete them if they are no longer needed or edit them at any time. Now, I know you might be super eager to create your coupons right away, but I just want you to know that there's an option to test new changes like adding new discount codes without actually affecting your website. That is done by using a staging environment, which allows you to really safely test out new features, plugins, and other things before applying it to your live website. Now, if you're hosting your website through Hostinger, this is super, super easy to do. Now, simply select Hostinger at the top left corner and then click the 
go to H panel button at the top right. Once you are in your H panel, go to websites, then find your WooCommerce website and select dashboard. Click WordPress on the left and then choose staging. Finally, just hit on the create staging button, insert the name for it, and give it about 15 minutes to complete the process. After that, click on manage staging and go to staging admin panel where you can test out any changes you like. And also guys, if you have any questions about coupons or anything else, you can always ask the Hostinger AI assistant whose name is Cody. Now Cody knows your website's content and structure so it can answer questions about it accordingly. Also, if you encounter any technical problems at all, like your website crashing or loss of WordPress access, you can try to fix the problem with our AI troubleshooter. It's a super easy and useful tool that comes with Hostinger. You can find it at the top of your HPanel WordPress dashboard and just let it take care of all the things for you. Now, I know that these tools are only available if you have a plan with Hostinger, but don't you worry because if you want to try our managed WordPress hosting, you can check out this video right here and it will show you everything you need to know on how to get started. So you can also use our code WOO10 for an extra 10% discount. And that's it guys for the coupons. Now, another great way to boost your customer experience is by adding product filters. So if you're not too sure on how to actually add them to your store, here's our simple guide that you can watch right now. As always, a huge thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next one.